final for the RX150 sees Patrick O'Donovan, Tommy Caldwell, Stephen Jones on the front row of the grid, ready to race board is on, Archie Sherwood and Billy Alexander on the second row. Green light and go, good start from O'Donovan, not a bad launch at all though from the man in second position of Tommy Caldwell, he gets the advantage and gets the lead into the first turn, so it's Caldwell from O'Donovan then from Billy Alexander by the looks of things, he's made some good ground there, and uh, Stephen Jones dropping back into fourth position there, and Archie Sherwood in and amongst the mix, it might be Archie Sherwood in fact in the 28 who's up into third position, but either way it's Tommy Caldwell that leads the way through the first part of the first lap from Patrick O'Donovan and Caldwell has come really on form in the latter part of this weekend and is really looking very, very quick out there on track in these RX150 machines. So O'Donovan is going to have to put the bit between his teeth in the number 13 to see if he can get himself past Caldwell before the end of this race. We're back now to normal racing rules, unlike in the retro class. We've got joker laps in this one and at the end, of the first lap, it is still Caldwell who leads the way from O'Donovan. And then comes uh, the number 28 of Archie Sherwood then in the purple machine. So Stephen Jones will be disappointed given his starting position on the front row of the grid, but now sits in fourth position as Patrick O'Donovan closes up on to the back of the race leader of Tommy Caldwell. But down the straight, Caldwell's advantage of getting on that power that just that little bit earlier is evident for all to see. But you can see just how hard that the number 13 of Patrick O'Donovan is able to push coming through there, locking up the rear brakes as he went through the Brooklyn's hairpin. Over the line we go at the end of the, first, the second lap, I should say. So it's O'Donovan then, who sits in second position, Sherwood into third place, Stephen Jones into fourth place, Billy Alexander looks like he's pulled off, contact between the top two though as Caldwell gets hit up the rear bumper by Patrick O'Donovan who's getting his elbows out certainly through the gravel section they go and Caldwell is going to have to try and defend with every ounce of skill that he's got because O'Donovan is not going to take second place lying down if he can find a way through you know that he certainly will down the back straight they come and in towards the left-hander of Brooklands. No opportunity presenting itself at the moment here for Patrick O'Donovan, but certainly he's looked the quicker of the two coming through the twiddly bits. And you can see that now. He's almost latched onto the rear of Tommy Caldwell. Over the line they go and tries to go for the long outside line into the first corner, but defensive there from Caldwell. Smart driving from the number 49 allows him to hold on to that lead and now sensibly O'Donovan goes joker he wants to get out of the traffic wants to try and get the undercut on Caldwell and he knows that he has got the pace on the number 49 crucially here as well he emerges ahead of Archie Sherwood so this could be very profitable indeed here for Patrick O'Donovan if he can just make hay while the sun shines set a good lap time and he could be on to try and undercut the race leader of Tommy Caldwell. Let's see what happens then as they come down the back straight in towards the left-hander. Lap three out of six, we're off. We're at the halfway stages in this RX150 final and it is advantage of Tommy Caldwell as it stands at the moment. But is that going to last for long? A bit wide into the first corner will cost him a few tenths of a second. That won't help him. What will Caldwell do? Does he go joker? Yes, he certainly does. Where is he going to emerge in relation, though, to Patrick O'Donovan? It's going to be very close indeed on the exit. Very close, but it's Caldwell that has the advantage, has trapped position. Great closing speed there for Paddy O'Donovan, but no opportunity to find his way through on the number 49. So it's as you were before the jokers then. So Caldwell leads the way from O'Donovan. Sherwood sits on third position on the podium as it stands so far and a great race this is proving to be in the RX150 buggies then coming through the final sector of the lap they go now to start the penultimate tour here in Pembrey over the line we go into the first corner and Caldwell there with a wider line coming through there so O'Donovan despite his best efforts is just not able to find a way through really is closing up on the back though through these twiddly bits Let's see whether he is going to be able to find his way past through the left, then through the right, really close. I think he's going to have to get his elbows out to find a way past. And you can see he's doing that, pushing the back of Caldwell, but the two almost coming to a standstill. And if anything, really, that costs O'Donovan more time than he will have gained. You can see that because coming down the back straight, the gap has increased significantly so. And all the hard work that O'Donovan did there, he's got to do it all over again. But he's only got another... 45, 46 seconds or so to be able to do it as they come over the line to start the final lap of racing here at Pembrey then. So down into the first corner we go once more. 
And it still sits at the advantage with Tommy Caldwell. O'Donovan has closed that gap down. He's really getting his elbows out, but he has a spin on the gravel. O'Donovan spins it then. So from battling for the lead, he now loses second place. Drama then as Steve Jones takes over second. Well, that just goes to show how quickly things can change in Rallycross. And from battling for the win, he now sits plumb last on the podium there, does Patrick O'Donovan. And despite his best efforts, he is going to finish in third place unless he can overhaul Stephen Jones before the end of this race. But what a fantastic race for the number 49. Over the line comes Tommy Caldwell. He wins the final then in the RX150 category. Absolutely phenomenal scenes. Stephen Jones takes an unlikely second place at the very end of that one, finishing in P2. Hugely impressive for him. And Patrick O'Donovan will be very disappointed after that result, finishing in P3, a spin on the final lap. Archie Sherwood comes home in P4, but a great race from Tommy Caldwell over the line to win the RX 150 final for round four here in Pembroke.